Okay, leaving executive education schools here on Union Boulevard in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And um, once again, just like they did in December, WLEV Executive Education and Lehigh Valley Business Group and others combined forces to do something for the community and to help people out again in, here in, in January. And it was Project Keep Warm, part, basically part two, where they had a lot... I, uh, Kevin Cope was one of the, he's the founder of the Levi Business Group. Um, and he told me, I believe he said they had 10,000 uh, items donated uh, between clothing. And also, it was pretty much everything that a person who is in need really actually would, you know, needed and used. Um, you know, low-income families, people who unfortunately might be living on the street, you know. Um, it was clothing. It was... They had uh, like care packages with soap and stuff. They had books for children, um, bags of potato chips, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you know, when you were walking out. So this was pretty much, you know, it wasn't just the clothing, but two things I wanted to really point out about this. Number one is the volunteers, all right? These are people that, and by the way, typical cold January day. Um, <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not, I can switch hands here, but, you know, this is something that the volunteers, like, the, like I stressed in December, about approximately 50 people, I was informed, came out here today. It's a, a holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, it's very cold out here. These people could have, you know, just stayed inside, stayed with their families, um, did whatever but instead they chose to come out here and help and make a difference in people's lives in the community and I actually had the chance to speak to a couple and including Mrs. Pennsylvania and you know basically the response I got so I'm like okay why would you, you know, why are you doing this and I was curious and the responses I got ranged from uh, ranged from you know, make, just wanting to help, wanting to make a difference, and reminding, and being reminded of how fortunate they, they are, you know, these people, that person is to, um, you know, some, someone, uh, they've, she's like, I have four children, and, you know, realize, you know, teaching their children, you know, trying to bring their children up with the right values, and trying to bring their children up you know, teaching them to say, hey, look, you have to help. You know, it can't, it can't only be about you. But it's not only about you. It's about everyone coming together to help each other out and, you know, being, being a community. So it's, you know, it just, it amazes me that how much people come, you know, volunteer to help others out who don't have it who may not have anything, how people take their time when they can be spending, you know, doing anything, sitting in front of the computer on a video game, uh, you know, watching TV, spending time with their family, whatever. And yet, they come out here to say, you know what, we're going to make a difference. We're going to show, not, not to show off, not for our own egos, not to be on TV or anything, but because we actually want to make a difference in this, in people's lives in our world. And that is just, you know, if you really stop and think about it, it just, it amazes you. And especially in today's world and society with how screwed up everything can be at times, that there's still a lot of good left here in the Lehigh Valley, here in Allentown and in our, our, our states, countries and world. There's still a lot of good, which is, it never gets immediate attention. You know, and for people, and there are still a lot of people out there that do stuff not for their own egos, not for to gain anything, or to be seen in the media or on TV or whatever, because they actually care. You know? Um, so I cannot, to everyone who came out both times, you know, during Christmas and here in January, thank you. Thank you for trying to make, you know, for myself and the Valley and Beyond, 
honestly thank you for coming out here coming out sorting the clothing um coming out here i mean when i got there a little after 10 i was swamped you know being friendly nice you know people ask questions you know being real friendly and being real cool with people thank you for everything you've done both times and for all of your help and all of your hard work uh you know to kevin cope who does a hell of a lot for people in the Lehigh Valley and the homeless. Um, I have to, I have to give mention this and give a hell of a lot of credit to radio station WLEV. I had a chance to uh, speak with a couple of people that worked there. Fantastic group of people, DJs and everything. You know, it's they're genuinely friendly, genuinely care. All right, not out there just to. You know, do their job, but genuine, but really care. Fantastic group of people, 100.7 WLEV. Um, if you get a chance, you'd see them out at an event, you know, hit, say hi. Um, you know, you can thank them for everything. They do a lot for the Lehigh Valley and the communities here and help people out. They're the main force in both, in both Project Keep One. So definitely, please give them a listen, check out their website, and you know, support support this radio this radio station. Honestly, I cannot thank you know everyone involved. You know, executive education, um, everyone for just everything you've done. You do to help to help make the Lehigh Valley a better place. I mean, this is one Lehigh Valley. Honestly, is a really screwed up area at times to live and to be in. All the hype, all the good, you know, all the hype, all the bragging you hear. There's a different side to it, and trust me. I walk these, I've walked these streets. At times, I have lived on these streets. There's a whole different side to media barriers. But people like this, events like this, it shows what it shows what this area is really about and what this area is really capable of. So, I know I said two things. I don't remember the second. Honestly, because it's like the main part about it, the main thing I really wanted to point out and stress was the fact of, you know, Project Keep Warm. Oh, part two is going to be the other fact, the other thing. I just remember, literally, no joke. Uh, part two is going to be the other, it's going to be the other, part two is going to be the other thing. I appreciate it, but you're probably in a rush to go somewhere, so... You go first. I can walk around you. Um, yeah, just for part two. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for the support and being there, for, you know, and everything, and, you know, checking out all these video articles, checking out everything in the Valley and beyond, and my books, which I swear I'm going to get back to. But please, stay safe in the night and always. If you live anywhere in the north, you know, in the Midwest, wind chills are, like, hitting negative 30 and 40. Here in Pennsylvania, I heard the weather forecast, wind chills is zero tonight. Please stay out there. And if you know anyone, and if you know anyone who is living on the street, who might be living on the street, please, you know, maybe help them get to a shelter or at least someplace warm. All right. You know, that might make the difference in their life. Okay. Take care, everybody. Stay safe from the night and always. Michael Phoenix, thanks for the support. From Union Boulevard, just past Wendy's, coming up on Airport Road. I'll see you around. Later.